say it. Say it. I said, look, you said y'all say it. First, you said you an atheist. Say it. Damn right, I'm an atheist. All right, I got your camera. I go up and stop me from slapping you. How? Nothing. I thought you said you wanted to stop me from slapping you. God can't stop you from hitting me. God can't stop you from doing shit. I thought you wanted to kiss him. Oh, yeah. You want to make a statement, right? You want to make a statement? I thought you want to make a statement. He got a problem with the Israelites. Yeah, hey, all right, man. Yeah. He ain't got the guts. I thought you had a statement to make. What's propaganda? Religion come from uh, Abraham, bro. Religion come from All right, Shalom. <laughs> Give it all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, which consists of the 12 tribes of Israel, which, which consists of you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American and Seminole Indians. All right, so <laughs> this is um, going to be a response to the Elder Manatazakba's video. Uh, what's the name of it? Uh, Panama Jack. And the sea hag say the Bible is bullshit. All right. This is going to be a quick response video, response lesson. All right. Because <laughs> our people, man, our people are gone, man. Revolted and gone, as the scriptures say. All right. But I just want to do, I just want to do a quick response to this video. All right. Uh, that the Adam not stop, uh, about put up. Showing the fall of our people. All right, and his and his uh his page is GMS South Carolina. Oh wait. So go su go subscribe all right to the elders page and be edified if you haven't already. Alright, so we going um we go um play this video and give and give our uh, commentary as we go, as always. And I might not uh I may do the whole video, I may not. All right, but we're going to see where the uh, spirit takes us. But I got a few scriptures lined up, all right, in response to this video. And that's going to be the lesson. And Lord willing, it's edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to the hopeful elect. So let's run it back. What you want to say? Say it. I said, look, you said y'all said it. Say First, you said you were an atheist. Say it. Damn right, I'm an atheist. All right, I got your. All right. <laughs> Jake, oh, Jake, come in with folly, man. All right, let's get that. Talking about he an atheist. Let's address that. All right. Because our people in this captivity, they done became like the heathen, man. In pretty much every way, whether they're atheists, whether they're Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, Kemet, all right, whatever, man. But our people are gone, man. All right, let's get it in the songs. I think I got it highlighted. Yep, this is Psalm chapter 14, verse 1, starting at the top. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The fool has said in his heart, there is no power. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. And that's all people, as you can see this guy here, man. That's the elder calling Panama Jack. All right, he, he, st he come in talking about he an atheist. All right, proud, man. No fear. What you want to say? Say it. I said, look, you said y'all said it. First, you said you an atheist. Say it. Damn right, I'm an atheist. All right, I got your camera. I go up and stop me from slapping you. How? Nothing. I thought you said you wanted to stop me from slapping you. God can't stop you from hitting me. God can't stop you from doing shit. I thought you wanted to kiss him. Oh, yeah. You want to make a statement, right? You want to make a statement? I thought you wanted to make a statement. He got a problem with the Israelites. Hey, all right, man. Yeah. He ain't got the guts. I thought you had a statement to make. What's propaganda? Religion come from uh, Abraham, bro. Religion come from Abraham? Abraham. He started all that shit. But you about to kiss or you made a statement. What's the statement you want to make? I'm not. What? All right, and I just want to chime in real quick. I ain't going to get this, but uh, I ain't going to get this in scripture. But uh, see, our people don't even know, man. That's why the scripture says, study to show you, show thyself approved. All right, Abraham, all right, the covenant, all right, didn't start with Abraham. I mean, the physical covenant, you can say, so to speak, all right, was the sacrifice, but the covenant, all right, it started with Adam. All right, Adam was the chosen. 
All right, now all people come from Adam as the scriptures say, but the chosen people, all right, come from Adam, all right? In, in the time of um, Adam, the chosen seed was called the um, sons of God, all right? You have three classifications of men, all right, of people. The sons of God, the sons of men, and the sons of, sons of the wicked. And the sons of God are the Israelites before they were being called uh, Israelite, before Jacob's name was changed to Israel. They were called the sons of God. So there was always a chosen line starting with Adam. The sons of men are the sons of all the other nations. All right. You know, the so-called Africans, Arabs, East Indians. All them, man. The Japhites. All right. Moab, Ammon, Chinese, Japanese. Those are the sons of men. And then you have the sons of the wicked, which are the so-called white man. All right. The white man is the wicked. Pursuing the Malachi uh, 1 and 4. All right. And those are the sons of the wicked. All right. In the time of um of the garden, he was Cain, all right, but he came back as um Esau. So the so the so called white man, uh white men, women and children, those are the um sons of the wicked, the descendants of um Esau, who are the the, the descendants of Cain. Alright, so the sons of uh so it didn't start all right with Abraham, it started with Adam. Alright, Adam was given the breath of life, all right, which is basically the um the covenant. All right, the law, statutes, and the commandments. All right, before they were written on stone and given them all, before they were given to Moses and written on stone. All right, the law was, it was basically oral. It was oral. All right. So the uh, it started with Adam, not Abraham. I just wanted to say that real quick. Statement. What's your statement? Is your statement? Why are full of shit out here? This full of shit. What's, what's full of it's shit? Full of shit. How are you original Hebrewites and you born in the, the United word. States? You born in the United States. We got a lineage that go Nigga, back before born we came. In the United States, Where do we dog? come from? Where do we come from? Y'all come from Africa, but y'all born Man, in the United States. That's why Africans don't claim you. That's the point. Yeah, Africans don't even We're not Africans. African. African. We're not Africans. African. 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 I'm not Nigga. We're not Africans. I'm not Nigga. We're not Africans. Do what y'all motherfuckers do. Boy, our people something else, man. Jake something else, man. All right. GR, your geographical location does not determine your um nationality. It, it does not determine your seed line. Uh, yeah, we over here in America, and that's because we were brought over here um as slaves, man, on cargo slave ships. All right, Deuteronomy two and eighty six day. All right, but we was as the scripture say, Jerusalem. All right, is the mother of, um of us all. All right, but just because we're in America now, that don't mean that we're Americans. All right, you have all kind of people in America. All right, basically, uh, all nations of people are here are, are um here in America. All right, that's why it's called the melting pot. All right, that's how we know Jeremiah fifty and fifty one. It's talking about America because you have all nations here, man. All right, but we were brought here on cargo slave ship as a result of our disobedience. All right, let's get that. That's Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty eight. Of course, everybody know that. So let's get that real quick. Like I said, I'm just gonna hit a few basic scriptures in response to the um elders video. And I can't remember if I uh, marked that one before I did the lesson. All right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, shall, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there you shall be sold to your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. All right. In Egypt, meaning um captivity, bondage. Bondage, slavery, all right? Exodus 20 and 3 tells you that. All right, Egypt is the house of bondage. So we were brought over here on slave ships, all right, for breaking the covenant, all right? For idol worship, for not keeping the law of statutes and uh, commandment, not upholding our end of the covenant that we made with Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right? So just because we're over here in America, that don't mean we're American, man. We have a seed line, all right? Going back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? The Israelites. All right, our people don't know nothing, man. All right, so so let's just say, hypothetically uh, speaking, if a so-called black man, if he's born in China, does that make him Chinese? Does that make him a Moabite? No, man, he's still an Israelite. All right, he's just in China. That's all that that's all that means, man. Nationality is not based on um geography, man. Your geo your your geographic location. You can be born anywhere here. 
But you have a seed line, man. You have a nationality. All right, let's run that back. And he said, again, all people with this African stuff, we Africans. All right, let's see if I can get it where I left off. Hebrewites, you born in the United word. States. You born in the United States. We got a lineage that go Nigga, back y'all before we came. The United States, Where do we dog? come from? Where do we come from? Y'all come from Africa, but y'all born Man, in the United States. Africans don't claim you. That's the point. Yeah, Africans don't even claim you. We're not African. We're not African. I'm not Nigga. We're not African. I'm not Nigga. We're not African. We're not African. That's all people that say we African, but then they say like he like these two uh say it here, man. We yo well you're African, but Africans don't even claim you. Yeah, we don't claim no Africans, man. We don't claim no damn Hamites. We ain't African. All right, we are not African. All right, we are Hebrew Israelite. All right, each man, each um each Israelite being from their respective tribe. All right, from the so-called Negroes all the way down to the so-called Mexicans. All right, from the tribe of Judah all the way down to the tribe of Issachar, man. We're Hebrew Israelite from, from our respective tribe. All right, the 12 sons of Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, let's go get that, that we ain't African, man. Uh, Exodus, I, I got it, Mark. I know I got that one, Mark. Just got to find it. I know it's an Exodus. Yep, Exodus 11 and 7. But against the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord, Yahweh, doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. All right? And then, uh, of course, the Egyptians, those are real Africans, man. Those are Hamites. And we're not Hamites, man. We're not Africans. We're Hebrew Israelites, all right? Because um, Noah had uh, three sons, all right, that made it through the flood, all right? You had eight souls that made it through the flood, all right? Four of them being Noah and his three sons, all right? And Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, all right? And uh, I'll just say uh, this real quick. Japheth are your... um. Your so-called, uh, your Hawaiians today, Samoans, all right, and those people, man, the Hawaiians and Samoans and, and them people over there, man, and you got uh, Ham, which are the Africans, all right, the Egyptians, all right, um, let's see, Libyans, Kenyans, all right. Those are Africans, man. Those are Hamites. And you got uh, Shem. And Shem are who we come from. Now, you got some nations that are Shemitic. All right. Because Shem had, what, uh, five sons, if I ain't mistaken. I ain't going to go get it because I don't want this to be too long. But Shem had five sons. So you have a lot of uh, Shemitic nations, man. But the chosen line. All right, will be the Hebrew Israelites, and that's what we are. You so, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We come from Shem. The so-called Africans, they come from Ham. All right, now so I must say that I gotta say this real quick. The so-called white man, he is he is Shemitic. All right, and I think also the um the Moabites and the um Ammonites, I, they I think they're Shemitic too, man. All right, so you got nations that are Semitic. Shalaki, so like not Semitic. That's what them damn Jewish people say. Shemitic. All right, so you got you have multiple nations that are Shemitic, all right, in origin, but the chosen line would be through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, and Jacob's 12 sons. All right, so we are Hebrew Israelites. We come from um, Shem. All right, so-called Africans, they come from Ham. All right, let's go get that real quick from uh, in the Zondervan. All right, this is the um, definition of Ham. From the, Zondervan, from the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionaries, it says, Ham, the youngest son of Noah, the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, all right, or the Hispanics, or Native Americans, might I add. Not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites, man. And you can see they got an image right here, all right? All right, so you can see, man, we're, 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 we come from Shem, all right? So-called Africans, they come from Ham. All right, so we ain't African, man. 
So you got this guy. What you want to say? say? You got this guy here talking about Africans. We ain't Africans, man. What's, what's full of shit? shit? Claim you. That's the point. Yeah, Africa, where we come dog. from? Where do we come from? Uh -huh. Lineage that go back Nigga, before we came. Y'all born in the United States, Where do we dog? come from? Where do we come from? Y'all come from Africa, but y'all born man, in the United States. Man, Africans don't claim you. That's the point. Yeah, Africa is only We're not African. African. We're, We're not African. African. I'm not cheering, nigga. We're not African. I'm not cheering. All right. That's why I just got that in Exodus, man. The Lord put a difference between us and the um, so-called Africans, man. We ain't Africans. Nor do we want to be Africans, all right? Damn, doo doo eating, they let the goats and, and stuff, like animals piss on their children and, and shit like that, man. So we ain't Africans, man. We ain't no dirty, nasty, stinking, filthy, ashy-ass Hamites, man. We're Hebrew Israelites. The Lord's chosen people, man. You got a problem with Israelites. Silly. That's all right. Silly. What? We silly? silly? Yeah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is going to visit you, man. Y'all silly. Y'all silly. All right. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Y'all okay. niggas silly. No, why? Because you're born in America. Because Jesus Christ. They silly. Worship no, him. Wrong. Jesus they Christ. Jesus Christ is a white dude. My father. That's a white dude. No, no, no. Come on, let Ed say, Jesus Christ, that's a white dude, man. We don't worship no damn Jesus Christ. All right. Jesus Christos, man. The Messiah's true name, the uh, son of the Most High, his, his name is Yahweh Shah, which means the anointed savior or the, or the uh, um the anointed deliverer. Right? As the scriptures say, he shall save his people, man. He shall save his people from their sins. Talking about the Hebrew Israelites. All right, his name is Yahweh Shah, not no damn JC. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's a white spirit. guy. Yeah, he is. He's not a man. He's he a spirit. He lived on the earth. No, he's a spirit. He, he never died on the earth. and went to heaven. What did he look like when he lived? He looked. He's a spirit. He died and went to heaven. What? <laughs> That's an oxymoron, man. I mean, if I'm saying that word right, was it oxymoron, something like that. But, but, but nevertheless, man, how you gonna say he's a spirit? But but he died and went to heaven. Spirits don't die, man. All right, the soul is immortal. All right, the soul doesn't die. It's pure energy made by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, the soul is pure energy. Your spirit doesn't die. The flesh dies, man. Your spirit is in this. We're in these bodies, which is the flesh. The body, all right. The flesh is what dies, man. But the spirit never dies. It can't die. All right, the spirit keeps coming back over and over. But that's a whole another topic through reincarnation. All right. The spirit doesn't die. So how can the Messiah have died and gone to heaven? But he was a spirit, which he was a spirit. But what she's saying is he didn't have a he didn't walk the earth as a man. He didn't have a body. He just a, he's just a spirit, which that's not which which that's not the case, man. All right. The Messiah, all right, the savior of the Israelites, the son of the most high, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right. His true name is Yahweh, And he did walk the earth as a man, man. All right. Here it is, they'll say he died on the cross for our sins. Well, how can a spirit die on the cross, man? No, man, which they'll tell you that he was a man. He walked the earth as a man, just like um, just like we are, man. He walked the earth in in in, in um mere mortal flesh, man, but he didn't sin, all right? That's why it could because he's the son of the most high. Alright, he didn't sin that Yahweh Shah. That's why he was the um perfect lamb, the perfect sacrifice. All right, and he had to be given for all sins, all right? His sins and then all sins, all right? Like you. That's oh, right. Jesus. Exactly like That's right. Oh, he's a black, so called hey, black man, but his name is Jesus. No, he's Jewish. He's Jewish. Jew a Jewish man. Right here. Like yeah, what, Indy? You a pussy? He wasn't a Jewish man. He was a Jew. All right, today, he, today he, would, he would be uh, a so called Negro. All right? In Africa, a so called African American. All right, Yahweh Shah was a Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of Judah. All right, and scripture says, Surely it is evident that our um, Lord sprang out of Judah, the tribe of whom Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. So he was a Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of, of Judah. He wasn't a, a so called Jewish man. All right, no ISH, because that means pertaining to, not to actually be one. All right, so he was a Jew. All right, so he was a he, he was a he was a um Yahweh Shah was a Hebrew. Well, he is a Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of Judah, not Jewish. You know it's what? Not so what is your yeah, so you saw your name, outfit. Sir? Look at the outfit. Name, what is your name? I will pray for you. What is your name? I will pray for you. I want to pray for you. So you don't go to hell. I will pray for you so you don't go to hell. All right, beat it. There's no such place as hell. 
My shit is better than this shit. Okay. Cool. My shit is better than this shit. Cool. My Stop. shit is better than that shit. My shit, my, my clothes are not shit. Your clothes are shit. Hey, because it's not, it's not even traditional. You're tripping, that's a, that's you're not tripping. traditional. It's in the Bible, cuz. No, it's not traditional. That ain't traditional that's right there. That's not traditional. There. Mocking the Lord, mocking the men of the Lord. All right, our people gonna get enough of mocking the prophets, man. All right, but let's go get that, man. Cause he said the elders, all right, the attire, all right, it's not, it's not, uh, damn, what the hell I just did? It's not, uh, traditional, all right. But as the elders said, all right, it's in the Bible, it's in the scriptures. Let's go get that. Let's go see what the Savior, um, the Messiah himself had on when the apostle, uh, when the Apostle John, when John the Revelator saw him. All right, let's go see what he had on. I can't remember if I got it marked or not, but I, I'll go get it. I think I do got it marked, but I don't want to scroll through them and try to go find it. Yep. This is the book of Revelation. Uh, I start at verse 10. All right, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 10. This is um, John the Revelator on the, isle, on the island of Patmos. All right, when he saw he had a vision, all right, he saw he saw Yahawashah. All right, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, this is Yahweh shall speaking, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia, unto Ephesus and unto, and unto Smyrna and unto Pergamos and unto Thyatira and unto Sardis and unto Philadelphia and unto Lake. Laodicea. Verse 12, and I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. All right, I get this real quick because as Edward was saying, he was a so-called black man, and his head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame, flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Uh, so he was a so-called black man with warm, white woolly hair. But the key being, I want uh, the key being, all right, because they, she said, uh, well, he said that the elders' clothing is not traditional, and you know, we, uh, the brothers, they, uh, we wear our uh, garments, all right, and not, not, not these. Not shit like this that you see this nigga got on, man. We wore garments down to the foot, as as the scripture said, and that's what the elder has on, man. Alright. So what so our people don't know nothing, man. Alright, it is it, it, it is traditional, alright? But <laughs> he's thinking traditional till America. Or to uh, maybe even the damn Africa. But now nah, we Hebrew is like, man, our people always wore gum garments, man. All right, not those damn t-shirts and shorts and all that, man. All right, garments down to the foot with fringes. Dude, this is not traditional. That's not traditional. Panama <laughs> Jack is not no, traditional. No, you, you, no, it's not traditional. <laughs> yeah, all right, cuz. All right, ass. yeah, you ain't educated. You hurt. It's not traditional. You hurt, man. Dog. You hurt, dog. He stopped off at the camp before we started up talking about he an atheist. You can't let it go. You trying to mock us? You ain't mocking us, cuz. That's right. Say it again, sis. What you say? Black kings do job. There you go. Black kings. Yeah, we not black kings. What are we? It is no such thing as black kings. Dumbass bro. Jake. Okay. Man. There's no such thing. So what are you? Dumbass then? Jake. I'm a, I'm a god, bro. You a god? Yeah. yeah you one of the gods of Egypt. You a servant. You a servant ass nigga, man. What you say? Say so you a servant, just like us. I'm not no servant. Of yeah, you are. You got a job? Your ass is a You got a job? Okay, don't Do you shoot. have a job? Those shoes you don't you answer. Right there, you don't answer. It's made in a sweatshop. And what about your shoes? Oh, the guard? The guard? Where's your shoes at? The, the, the guard uh, stopped you from making a sweatshop? We never said it didn't. Yeah, this made, in, this made in China. I got the same one. Great. 
So it made in China. What and we, do? we admit it. We know we serve it. Yeah, y'all serve As it. the Israelites would be. No, but what? Come on, Jake dumb as hell, man. The fact that you over here in America, nigga, you a servant, all right? You came, you came over here in slavery, man. All right, but let's get it in the scriptures, because the Israelites are servants, man. We're in captivity, all right, as punishment, man. Jake don't fucking know nothing, man. Jake dumb as hell. Let's get that, man. We under the curses, man. So we're all servants. I don't care how much money you got, if you're famous or what. You're a servant, man. If you're a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, you are a servant. Now, Ed asked, do you, don't, don't you, you got a job or you got to work, don't you? All right. That make you a servant, man. You in captivity. All right. You don't have no sovereignty over here, man. You a servant. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, for, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. And we're the tail right now, man. All right, we are the tail. Jumping down to verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. The point being, therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies. And that's what we're doing, man. We're serving all these other nations, all right? Uh, primarily, all right, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, because that's, our arch, enemy, our, that's our arch nemesis, man. That's our number one enemy, presuming to the book of um, Psalm. The 83rd chapter, man. All right. We serving our enemies. We don't have no resources over here, man. We don't control the food, food supply or we don't have no manufacturing companies or, or, or no kind of um, processing plants or nothing like that, man. We're in captivity. We on the bottom, man. So we are servants. What are you? We're going to be king. We're going to be king. Yeah, we, right now we are. We're on the low end. Like the scriptures say. Like the scriptures say. Hey, brother, give me your driver 2848. For this, for this, for this guy. Look at this guy. Shit. Oh, Judas is right. Judas is right. 28. 28. Uh, 48. That's demonic because that is not my God. That is demonic. That's a demonic. That's demonic. That's this, this is all demonic. It's called demonic spirits and that's exactly what they are. They're demonic spirits. This is from hell. This is not taking you to heaven. This will take you straight to hell. Listen. This is not of God. Listen. This is not of God. This is not of his Listen. This is not of Jesus. Right. Jesus did not die for us to go through this. Read it, brother. Ignore it. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy with the Lord. Read it. Read it. Don't pay him no attention. Enemy with the Lord shall sin against thee. Right. And hunger and thirst. Uh huh. What else? And nakedness. Uh huh. And with all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Right. Until he has destroyed thee. There it is right there. This dude said we were servants, right? Well, the scriptures say we would be servants. You see that? There it is. You just told him we were slaves, we were servants, right? No. Nope. Peasants. There it is. You know what? And he just slave. read it. Guess what? He just I read it. I was a slave too. My family uh, comes from Egypt. How uh, about that? Your family coming from no Egypt. <laughs> yeah, you came from the uh, Alexandrian I'm Egypt. Italy, Egypt. Baby. <laughs> no, not from Italy. I'm yeah. Italian, okay. baby. I am not from Italy. Right, Romans. You're a Roman. You're right. Who is that? Right. That's her relative. A Alexander the Greek. All right. Read it one more time, bro. I'm Roman. I'm Italian. You're Italian. Italian. Yeah, okay. You ain't from this. Yeah, like they say, Romans and Italians, that's the same, that's pretty much the same thing. Now you have a lot of our people, a lot of our people are scattered amongst the um, Italians, all right? And our people ruled uh, Italy going back to the Moors, all right? So a lot of, a lot of modern day, a lot of Italians today are Israelites, but, I, but uh, the um, original Italians, I right, was Romans. All right, all right. They change. They ch they they change their name from Romans, all right, to Italians after uh after uh after Hannibal went in there and fucked them up. All right, with the elephant with uh yeah with the elephants and whatnot, man. They changed their name from Romans to Italians, man. All right, so she talking about I'm Italian now. She could be Israelite because, of, like I said, all right. After that, all right. After um them damn Romans changed their name to Italians, our people. 
ruled uh, Italy. All right, like I said, going back to the Moors. All right, but but you know, originally the Italians were Romans. They just changed that. Like I said earlier, they just um changed their name, man, from Romans to Italian. All right, but uh, yeah, man. I just wanted to say that real quick on a um, brief note. Go ahead, read it, bro. Oh, we ain't paying oh, attention. Forty-eight, bro. Forty-eight. Therefore, shall thy serve thy enemy. Right. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh huh. And hunger and thirst. The Lord said we're gonna serve our enemies. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, man. Right, and one of all things. The real Israelite will have a yoke. Hold on, brother. Hold on. The real Israelite will have a yoke of iron on their necks. You see that? We came over here in slavery oh, with yokes of iron on our see. necks. Let me see. Go ahead, bro. Let me see. What, 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 read it. Hey, you the history is, the history going. is true. But that shit y'all told me. He said, wait a minute. He said the history is true, but what? I mean, the history of slavery and all this. God is. It's in the Bible. The religion. It's in the Bible. What you say? Fuck the Bible. He don't know nothing. He said, fuck the Bible. It is bullshit. This is his words now. This is God. This is God's words. It's bullshit. How tall are you? C4. C4. How much you weigh? All right, what's that scripture? Uh, by thy words thou shalt be condemned, because his own words gonna be a witness against them. All right, and I should have got that one, but it just came to my head seeing this part of the video. Uh, see if I can find it real quick. By thy words thou shalt be condemned. Yeah, so lucky I put that in wrong. Yep, Matthew 12 and 37. All right, this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 37. This is your house, y'all speaking. All right. Matter of fact, I'll get verse 36. All right, again, this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 36. This red letter, your house, y'all speaking. But I say unto you, that every out of word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Alright. So this guy, you heard what he said. The Bible is, is BS. Uh, you Jakes, man. You you and your pride over this. Being over here in America done spoiled you Jakes, man. You think just like the damn heathen, man. Particularly the so-called white man, because that's some shit he'll say. And the Bible is that's bull. Because eh? they're corner people, all right. And you, um, Jake's being over here in this cap captivity, you don't became just like the so-called white man, all right. And all the heathen, man. He said, "Fuck the Bible, it is bullshit." This is exactly. F the Bible is BS. We just read it, all right. Every other word that man shall speak, they gonna have to hey. give account. You heard him F the Bible. Let me run it back. The history of slavery and all this is true. It's but in the Bible. The, the it's in the Bible. The what you say? You heard him. He said, fuck the Bible. It is bullshit. This is his words now. This is God. This is God's words. It's bullshit. How tall are you? This man better repent. How much you weigh? More than you. He cut. He's 6'4". He cut, but the Lord going to break you down to nothing, man. The Lord yep. of heaven and earth going to break you down, man. The Almighty and his son. They're going to break you down. If you don't know, we can't tell you, bro. Tell me who it is. His name, his name is Yahweh. His Yahweh. son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh. No, no, no. Nope. See, you, you saying other names. It's all good. That's why I want to tell you. That's why I didn't want to tell you. Cause you can't receive it. Cause you can't receive it. Cause you're on a low level, man. Why low level. Fork in your pocket. Yeah. Why, man? Cause it's funny. <laughs> all right. Finish. Oh, I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, then. Have fun. Adios. <laughs> Scoffer. Hey, bro. That's Jake for you, man. That's why two thirds, like this Negro right here, gonna be destroyed. At least he repent. All right, because now, uh, basically now he's seen the um prophets, man, and he's and he's been given the word. All right, so now, all right, the Lord ain't gonna weak at his ignorance no more, man. All right, if he didn't already know, but now um, this is going to be a witness against him, all right? Because <laughs> he, done, he, done, he done came across the prophets, all right? And he's been giving, he, he was giving the truth, man, but he, but he rejected it. 
All right, so niggas like this gonna be destroyed, man. Which is gonna be the majority of our people, two thirds. All right, and I think that's all I'm gonna get on the video. All right, I just want to get it. I just want to get a few scriptures going into the um our people, man. All right, let's get the two thirds. Cause they got they got to be put to death. They got to be put to sleep, man. And you can see why from this video, man. Niggas like this. All right, this book of Ze Zechariah chapter thirteen. Verse 8, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And that land is talking about here in America, man. Two thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is going to die a grievous death, all right, over here in America. All right, whether it be during Jacob's trouble or whether, whether it be, um, when this place is destroyed by thermonuclear fire and by Yahweh Shai and the angels, by way of the chariots. Uh, you're going to die a grievous death over here in America, man. Right again, Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord Yahweh, two parts, therein, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And that third is the elect. All right. The house of David, the 144,000 um, one-third multitude. But two thirds are gonna be put to um damn death, man. You're gonna die a grievous death. All right. Let's see what else I got. I think I just got a few more um scriptures highlighted, and that's gonna be the lesson. I'm gonna close it on out. Let's see what all I got. Cause our people. Our people don't got no fear. All right, and let's get this. This book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 21. Hear now this, O foolish people, and that's the majority of our people, two-thirds. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, like, like this guy, which you saw in the video, all right, and, the, and the chick he was with, whether she's an Israelite or not. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord Yahweh? Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the boundary of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it cannot pass? And the and though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it. But this people have the revolt have have the revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say in their heart, let us now fear the Lord Yahweh our power. That giveth rain, both the former and the latter, in his season, he reserved unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. And that's our people, man. That's our people. All right, no fear, no understanding. Eyes that cannot see and ears that cannot hear, man. Hey, but the Lord gonna bring that fear, all right, when he bring Jacob trouble and hit this place with the plagues again. All right, and new plagues. Right? That he ain't even, that he ain't even, uh, Hit ancient Egypt with. All right, you 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 people going to feel, man. You niggas going to feel when it's all said and done. Trust me. That's a guaranteed 100% fact. You going to feel your how about shimmy how it shot when it's all said and done. All right, let's go down to, uh, let's see what else I got. All right. This is book of Second Andrews, chapter nine, verse ten. So, like it, this is book of Second Andrews, chapter nine, starting at verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have which now have abused my ways, and they have cast and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty. And when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. And that's this guy, man. All right. <laughs> this guy's going to have to know death by pain, man. At least he repent. All right. Because that's what we got now. We got liberty now, man. We're under grace right now. Not a new covenant, but grace. All right, and repentance is still open, but this is this is the kind of shit all people do, man. They scoff and mock the prophets. 
Why they got why repentance is open? Why they got liberty, man? Why they got grace? Why they under grace? All right. But this what this what they do, man. They scoff the prophet. They uh reject the word word of the Lord. They slap the Lord's hand away. All right. Again, that's scripture said a rebellious and gang saying people, man. But as we just read, they gonna um they gonna know it after death by pain, man. All right. Let's get it. Let's hit a few more. Cause this thing. Cause this thing is um only for the elect, man. And that's why King David prayed, all right, that that these wicked Israelites don't don't be able to receive the truth, man. And let's get that real quick. This is the book of Romans, chapter eleven, verse seven. What then Israel has not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained, hath atta obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the Most High hath the, hath, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. And David says, talking about King David, all right, uh, the Apostle Paul is all. Uh, Quoting the Old Testament. And David said, Let the table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let the eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. All right, so so the wicked Israelites, the two thirds, they ain't going to get it in these latter days, man. Like this guy, man, he can't get it. He can't receive it. All right, because he, mo he was. More than likely wicked in all his past lives, man. He probably was in one of those souls that always came against the prophets. All right, and probably one, of, most likely one of the ones that uh, mocked Yahweh. All right, one of those Jews that said, "Uh, crucify him, crucify him, let his blood be on, upon us and our children." He was most likely one of those, one of them souls that's back here now in this uh, back here now in these last days, scoffing and mocking, uh, Salaki, scoffing and mocking. All right, because um, you come back in your same lot, man. If you're wicked, right, in your past lives, you're going to be wicked in this lifetime, man. All right, again, this thing is only for the elect. All right, again, it's Roman, Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel had, had, had so like it. what then Israel has not obtained that which he seeking for, but the election hath obtained, obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So this guy is blinded, man. This guy is blinded. He can't get it. All right. He can't not. He cannot get it. He can't receive it. Eyes that see not and ears that hear not. As you can see, he got them damn dark. He got them damn dark shades on. All right. And the sun ain't even out out there. It look like it's about to rain here. But that's Jake, man. Like I say, this thing. This thing is only for the elect. Let's see what else I got. Let's see what else. I may that may be all of them. Oh right, yeah, we can get this. All right, this is book of Second Chronicles, chapter thirty-six, verse fifteen. And the Lord Yahweh, power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up be times and sinning because he had compassion on his people. All right, again, we're under that grace now. All right, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place, but they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets. As you can see, this guy scoffing um, and mocking Elder Monarch was about talking about his shoes, his clothes, and all kind of folly and madness, man. All right, but they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets. Until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. And basically, guys like this, man, there's no remedy for these guys, man. Because as we read earlier, King David uh, <laughs> sent, up that, sent up that prayer, all right, for wicked Israelites in these last days, man. For the ones that came against him during, against him during that time 
and now in these latter days, man, and as and as we all know, uh, King David was a man after the Lord's own heart. All right, and you can and if you can receive it, all right, King David, that was Moses. All right, and Moses was Jacob. All right, and as the scripture say, Jacob have I loved, and Esau has have I hated. All right, so so that so you can see King David prayers. All right, what basically were answered, man, because you got niggas like this that can't receive it, man. They can open the Bible and read it, but they can't get the understanding. And this guy's talking all kind of uh, BS, man, folly and madness. Talking about if the Bible, and if he had the Bible out there, he'll, he'll piss on it and all that, man. All right, so niggas like this going to be put to death, man. All right, as we read um, in Second Edwards, the same must know it after death by pain. So that fear, like I say, ultimately when the smoke clear, when it's all said and done, you niggas going to feel you how about shimmy how shy. All right, you mock and scoffing the prophets. All right, that's just going to be a witness against you, man. You ain't doing the prophets. All right, no harm, man. And you damn sure ain't doing the Lord no harm. All right, you just marking yourself. That's all you're doing, Jake. All right, because these, the men are out, the men that are out there on the highways and byways doing this um labor, doing this labor, doing the work of the Lord. Yeah, how about Shema was shy? All right, they're doing this, just that, man. They... They, they're speaking thus saith the Lord, man. They ain't speaking their own words or their own opinion. So you think you coming against the prophets, but you coming against the Lord, man. You coming against your how about your mouth was shy. And that's just going to be a witness against you, man. You know the most high. All right, the Lord going to be justified in putting you niggas to death, man. Your how is going to be justified in beating you niggas to powder, man. He ain't hitting you niggas with them um, laser beams out of the chariot. All right. Cutting you asunder, man. Yahweh Shah is going to be completely justified, man. All right, the Lord got his man out there doing the work, trying to, um, basically giving you Israelites the word, all right, the word that is able to, the word that is able to save your soul, but you do shit like this, man. All right? And that's why you got to be put to death, and that's why you going to be put to death. All right, did I have any more? Uh, I think that was basically it. Yeah, I think that was basically it, man. Again, this thing is only for the elect. All right. Oh, yeah, we can get that. I, I forgot I had these. This book of Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith? Of the Most High without effect, God the Salaki, the Most High forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. And it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judge. All right. So now, just because you got niggas like this that don't believe, man, the Most High, Yahweh by Shemi Hawashah's will is going to be done, man. All right. And the scriptures say the Lord will do all his pleasures, man, because just because. Jake, you got just like this that don't believe, that say they're atheists and all this and that. All right, say the Bible is BS and F the Bible, F the scriptures. All right, the Lord's will is going to be done whether you like it or not. All right. So you niggas just going to have to be put to death, man. That's, the scriptures say let not the incredulity of them uh, do I got that one marked? Yep, second interest the ninth chapter. Yep, this second interest chapter nine, verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Oh yeah, I had got this already here. We'll get it again though. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torment. All right. Now, this ain't the one I want. I'll finish this out, though, again. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty. And when 
as yet a as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain, and that's this guy, man. That's this guy right here, man. And um, people like him, but it's one that say, uh, let not the incredulity of them uh, trouble um you that don't believe. Roughly, par roughly uh, paraphrasing. I thought I had marked it. Might have to go get it on Google. Let's see if I can go get it. I know my internet going to be slow as hell. Yeah. Oh, let's try to go ahead and get it. I don't know why I ain't. Incredulity. Probably spelled it wrong, but you should know what I'm talking about. Did I get second address to 15 chapter? All right, I'll go get it now. All right, this is the book of Second Address, chapter 15. Oh, yeah, I do got it. I don't know why it wasn't showing up in my... All right, but this, again, this is the book of Second Address, chapter 15, verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithfulness, Shalakia, verse 4, 2nd Andrew 15 and 4, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. So guys like this, all right, they're going to die in their unbelief, man. They're going to die in their unfaithfulness. All right. So like I said, man, you ain't going to change. You come, you scoffing and mocking the prophets, all right? You ain't going to um, run the prophets off the block, all right? The prophets going to prophesy, man, all right, because they... um. They've been called to do the work, right? And they're going to do just that. They're going to do the work of Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. So you scoffing and, mock, and mocking, you just um effing yourself up pretty much, man. You just mocking yourself for um, judgment, man, to be put to death. That's all you're doing, all right? And the scripture said, we just read, man. Let's get it again. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. In in incredulity goes into uh, unbelief. So just because you don't believe, as we read um in, in the book of Romans, man, all right, shall their um unbelief make the um faith of the most high without effect? The most high forbid, man. Let God let the most high be true and every man a liar. Alright. <laughs> so so these guys like this is gonna be put to death, man, if they don't repent. Alright, so I just want to bring that out. Alright. This lesson went a little longer than I wanted it to, but alright. But hey, that's just um, that's the spirit, man. I just want to do a um lesson on this video. I just found it uh kind of funny. <laughs> All right, he he got he got on some damn this damn ridiculous outfit. All right, but he want <laughs> but he want to say what the elder got on and the brother. All right, the garments. All right, with the fringes down to the foot. All right, he want to say that that's that's not traditional. But look what he got on, man. Folly, man. <laughs> but this are our people, man. Wearing shit like this, but but we the crazy ones. Alright. Alright, we're dressing according to the scriptures. We crazy for doing that, but he but he got on shit like this. Alright. Alright. Bugged out, man. Alright, so let me make sure I hit all the scriptures I wanted to hit. I think I did. <laughs> Alright. It's like it. Yeah, so that was pretty much it. I just wanted to hit a few scriptures on, on this video, man, in response. All right, do a quick um, lesson on it.
All right, but you jakes, man, repent, all right? You scoffing and mocking at the prophets, all right? You only hurting yourself. You ain't hurting the prophets or the Lord. Yeah, how about Shema Hawashah? You only hurting yourself, all right, as we read. All right, so, you know, hopefully this, this was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shah, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, shalom on to the hopeful elect. All right, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, again, hopefully this was edifying and it made sense through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Shalom on, DTA, <laughs> DTA, a Baba ball. Bugged out, man. Bugged out. Repent, Jake. Shalom.